Hey everyone, it's Christina. So today I want to show you how I make these little envelope like card holders for the um, for someone else sets that I ship out. They fit perfectly in one of these little envelopes here, and yeah, I wanted a way to that I could ship them, put them in the envelope, and instead of them pulling the card out, everything go flying everywhere. So yeah, I'm going to switch over to my computer and I'm going to show you how I designed it and then I will come back and show you how to assemble it. So keep watching. Okay, so you know I use Avery.com for a lot of my business things that I've been creating. It's just much easier for me because um, I can go off the templates and stuff like that. So with these, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to Avery.com and I'm going to go to Avery Design and Print. Start designing. Give it a second to pull up. And I'm going to go over here to stickers and magnet sheets. Even though I'm not using sticker paper, I'm just going to use um, regular cardstock. This gives me a really good um, template to use. So I'm just going to click, you know, the first one, it's 8.5 by 11, and I'm going to click select this template. And I'm going to go and select the blank design. Okay, so now we have the layout, and you will see right here there's a dotted line. That's the, um, the print margin or whatever but I've changed my printer settings to print borderless so if you're able to do that um, then go ahead and go into your settings and change it to where it's a borderless printing for your printer settings this has nothing to do with it it's gonna be your printer settings so I'm gonna put everything down here at the bottom and I'm gonna line it up with the outside edge so I'm just gonna add an image and you can go in and go to say, let's see, let's find borders. It's gone up. You can do backgrounds if you want. But you can do borders and frames, and you can find one, you know, you could add one of these into here if you just want to make it something simple. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to pick a design that's simple. Let's see, we'll go with this one. And you can change the color of it. So I'm going to go with a hot pink. If it'll let me. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's see. Is it going to let me? Oh, that, I clicked the wrong thing. Darn it. Undo, undo, undo. Okay. So let me stretch it real quick. That way I can see where I'm changing the color. I mean, oh, there it is. Goodness gracious. Everything was just working fine for me. All right, so now let's go in and change the color. We're going to click that color and select the purple. There we go. So that gives me a basic, um, you know, color. And I don't mind that it is, it's got the purple outline. That's fine. All right, so now we're going to get off of that. Okay, and so now I'm going to make it the size that I want. So you can add, you know, borders in here. But to um, show you the one that I did, I'm going to remove this. And I'm going to add my own image. Go to my computer, browse your file. You're going to see a bunch of pictures pop up because I have a ton of pictures. Oh, that's my species. Um, I have that. Let's go in here. I saved it in here. So I'm going to do um, this one here. It's a glitter. So I'm just going to let upload that one. And then I'm going to put it to the size that I want it. This, for this one, the size that I'm going to want, this is the background image. So you can go over here and you can change it. Make sure the lock aspect ratio is unchecked. And you have it in inches. So my width is going to be the size of the paper. So we're going to go 8.5. Okay. 
And then the height is um, when I measured it out, when I measured out to score it, it came out to a four and five eighths. Well, that's going to convert to um, for your height, four point six two five. And that gives me the size image that I need. And now I can just line it up where I need it. So I'm going to go all the way to the bottom. Just ignore the whole warning that it pops up. So that's going to give me the exact size that I need. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to more. And I'm going to add a shape. And I want to make sure my fill is white. And my outline is white. Okay, and then I'm going to double click on the square. So that gives me now a white box that I can put over this image here. So I'm going to, again, stretch it all the way to the bottom, making sure that all my pink glitter, unless you want to leave a border around that also. I did not. Um, and actually, it probably wouldn't be too bad if you did leave a border. So let's try it out. I'm going to pop it all the way. Let's see, I'm trying to do this one without like leaving a border right. Actually, that looks pretty good to me. So, um, actually, I can go drag that up just a little bit. That looks about even. Okay, so now we have that. And now I'm going to add in my logo. So now I need to go to my pictures. I didn't even check to see if maybe it's been saved. And I've got to, oh wait, no, this is going to be in my SVGs. All right. There it is. Okay, so there's my logo that I created for myself. So I'm just going to shrink it down and put it anywhere that I want. I'm going to put it down here in the white area. I actually need to scoot that over some. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to add a text box. And I'm just going to type in my website. Or you could, let's see, do hashtag be colorful. Hashtag be brilliant. Oh, I cannot type. Hashtag be color street. Okay, so you could type that in there. And then we can bring it right on down here. And you're not selling these, so um, you can add this on there. So I'm going to add text box again. And say you want to do this for um, your hostess that is hosting a party. So you could put thank you for hosting a nail party with me and let's see and then you can just go back and play around how you want the spacing to be so if you want to do it like that you can we'll see if it will fit so we're gonna put it down here I'm gonna highlight it I'm going to play around with the fonts and get it to I just keep going up until it gets and actually let me change let's see so you could use that font that's the Bella Donna or whatever you could use a Corsiva which I like that one and you can change the color to match your border and now again we can still keep going with the fonts and just going until you, know, you get it to the size that you want to where it's not too big. And if it ends up doing that, you can always stretch it, which I'm probably going to have to go down on my font. All right, so let's go down to the next. All right, um, let's try and stretch it just a tad bit more. Okay, there we go. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going to go down another font. Or another size. There we go. All right, so I'm just going to shrink this up so it doesn't get in the way. So there you have that. And if you wanted to, you could add in some more text or you know, whatever you would like to. 
All right, so now we're going to go and I'm going to print this off. So I'm going to go to preview and print. It's going to give you all these warnings and just click continue anyways. So now you're going to go up here and go to print it yourself. Print now. I'll go ahead and save this one. So I'm just going to say hostess nail envelope. Save it like that. Okay, and we're going to open it up. Open the PDF. It's going to pull it up. And again, um, my printer settings are already set to print to the edge, but I will go ahead and double check to make sure that it is still like that. So I'm going to go to my settings. And this will go ahead and show you guys how, I don't know how your computer is, or just whatever. Go to your settings, go to my devices. I'm going to go to printers and scanners. Find my printer. Manage. And we're going to go to printer, printing preferences, I do believe. That's where it is. And yes, so over here this box up over here I have borderless checked so that's gonna allow me to print all the way to the edge of my paper so now we're gonna hit print I've got to clean my computer up I've had this computer almost three years now <laughs> um, but it's still doing you know what it needs to so Let's see, we're going to go to more settings and make sure that the fit to page is unchecked and it's good to go. So I'm going to load up my printer, get this printed out, and I will come back to show you the rest of putting this together. Okay, so just as a little tip, um, when you go to make the white box, bring it in a little bit further. Let me zoom out here. There we go. So bring it in just a little bit further. That way, if you want more of the glitter outline, but I can still show you, you know, the gist of this. So what you're going to need is either a scoreboard or something. I have um, uh, my Cricut paper cutter, so it will work just as fine. Um, you'll need a bone fo folder or like a stylist or something that you can score with a pair of scissors some kind of double-sided sticky tape you can pick this up at Hobby Lobby for fairly cheap it's two ninety nine a roll but then you when your stuff's on half off you can you know get it cheaper and then um, I just have a little pokey tool here so any kind of pokey tool will work if you don't have one you don't need one <laughs> So what you're going to do is I'm going to go this way first. Let me try and zoom in here so you can see. Okay, so try to keep everything from rolling off. My desk is like very unlevel. I've had this desk for just as long as I've had my computer and it's, it has about had it. So the first score mark that we're going to want to make is going to be at 1 and 5 eighths. So if you don't know how to count that, you have these, here, I'll use my pokey tool. You have your one inch mark here. Then you have these bigger ones. So those are your five eighths, or that, <laughs> those are your eighth markings. The little bitty ones are sixteenths. So you're gonna wanna count five over, so it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. So it's gonna be your next biggest mark after your halfway mark. That's going to be your one and five eighths. So I'm just going to close this down. I'm going to make sure it's at my mark. And I'm going to close this down. Move this. And then you'll see right here where your paper trimmer part goes through. That's where you're going to put your um, bone folder. And you can run it right along that edge. So just go straight down and it's going to score that for you. So, let's see. so you see the score mark. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this around. 
and I'm going to go over to four and five eighths. And that's where we're going to make our another score mark. So I'm going to extend my arm, pull this in. So again, we're going to count our eighth marks one, two, three, four, five. So four and five eighths right there. So I'm going to slide this paper there. And then let me come in where you can see this part. All right. And then again, we're going to stick it right in that little groove right there. And we're going to score it. Oh, I went off. See? So you got to be careful. I'm trying to look at the camera and do this. So be careful not to go off. Okay. So now we can put the paper trimmer away. That's all the scoring you need to do. So now what we're going to do, all right, let me zoom back out so I can get the whole page in here. So now what you're going to do is you're going to flip it upside down where your image is on the other side. And then right along that score mark, you're going to fold it back towards you. And then use your bone folder to crease it. Okay. So then right along this edge here is where you're going to put your double-sided sticky tape. So, I have to go ahead in here. So we're just going to put that as close to the edge as possible. And then I'm going to clip that. You can tear it if you want. I don't like to tear my tape. I like clean edges because I'm scared that I'm going to tear my actual paper. So again, we're going to go down on the other side and put our double sided sticky tape. And what's great about doing this is um, you can make these however you want. I will do another video on um, decorating them up if you don't want to prime. Save on ink. I love, I used to do paper crafting and I had a really bad. Um, I got hit by a tornado and it tore everything up that I had worked on and it just devastated me so much that I could not get back into it. But now that I'm still in Color Street, it has gotten me back to where I want to do a little bit more paper crafting. Alright, so I'm just going to take this pokey tool and remove the backer off of my double-sided sticky tape. And we are just going to fold that right on up. And now you have a pocket right here. So now what you're going to do is that you're going to go on, oh, the light's not picking up, but you're going to go on that other double, that other score line and you're going to fold it down. And I was a little off with my image up here. I went down too far. So... That's okay though, this is just for demonstration purposes. Just what I said, I will do one where I decorate it and stuff like that. Um, so there you have it, let's see if I can zoom out and get this whole thing. There we go. So there we go, there's my little logo down there that I made. And yeah, so now you can grab a nail set. So you can take a nail set and slip it right down in there and it's gonna hold it just like that. And then I have these envelopes that I just purchased from Walmart. Um, I'm in the process of finding me some different colors because these are white and they're see-through. And, but you can take this whole thing, like if you're shipping it to a hostess or if you're mailing, you have mailing one set, you can slide this right down in there. You can Slide your catalog right down in there. And so there you have, and it, when they, you know, when they open up, pull it out, everything doesn't go flying and slinging everywhere. And you can also, um, you know, if you want to send them some of the little samples, you can slide them down in there. You can, they like said, slide your, you know, stick some of those in there. And then you can even, so I said, slide your business card in there so even if you wanted to make some of these up and just tote them around in your purse as you know your little kits that you can hand people or you know if they want to buy on the spot or yeah and actually I could probably 
Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll do another video on um, making some for sample kits. It'll make you like little Tuesday cards or whatever. So, um, yeah, but I just thought, and you can also, I double checked it. You could even fit two nail sets in there. So, you ain't gonna worry about them, you know. When they go to pull it out, they go flying everywhere. So, yeah. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe if you have not already. Make sure you click the little bell notification. That way you know when I post new videos. Um, I'll have all my links down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And be sure to um, uh, like my Facebook page and join my VIP group. And follow me on Instagram. So yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.